Welcome to Azad Bio Academy. Now, I will explain the antibiotics which are basically associated with the cell wall synthesis. So, what types of antibiotics are basically cell wall synthesis related antibiotics or associated antibiotics? Now, I will explain. Okay. So, firstly, in the cytoplasmic stage, I will go firstly for cytoplasmic stage. So, in cytoplasmic stage, you know, uh, one thing that is the formation of NAG to NAM. That is N-acetyl glucosamine to N-acetyl mevabric acid. Of course, initially UDP attached there. And here, you know, the enzyme name is mu A or you can say mu, also mu B. Our alternative name is enol, pyruvate, transferase. Okay. That enzyme will be inhibited by phosphomycin. Sorry. Phosphomycin. So that enzyme will be inhibited by phosphomycin. When that enzyme will be inhibited, so no NAG, that is N acetyl glucosamine, will be converted to N acetyl mevabric acid. You know, both the sugar are the basic unit of building a block of the sugar chain, basic skeleton of sugar chain. Already you know. In the uh, third phase already I, I tried to show you that is NAM and NAG uh, linkage by the uh, glycoside board. Okay? So when that enzyme will be inhibited, so NAM, that is N acetyl neuromic acid sugar will not be produced. So further procedure will not be possible. Okay? So without basic unit of uh, the Na, M and NAG with pentaglycine, how is it possible to produce uh, a bacterial cell wall? So, it is indirectly associated with bacterial cell wall synthesis. So, this is one uh, within the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm, single stage. So, A, you can say the one. So, B is, you know, in bacteria, DLNA, the uh, use of DLNA is very prominent than uh, human. So D alanine. So now L alanine should be converted to D alanine. D alanine. If you recall the fourth and fifth uh, peptide, that is amino acid of the pentapeptide were D alanine, D alanine. So this is D alanine. And thus L alanine will be converted to D alanine by the help of enzyme resumes. Already I said in the uh, first uh, initial stage, okay? So resumes. And that resumes enzyme and D alanine will be attached with another D alanine. That is D alanine to D alanine. D alanine. by the help of enzyme ligase. Okay, both enzyme will be inhibited by cycloserin. Cycloserin. You can say B cycloserin. Okay, B cycloserin. So, how is it possible to form the basic unit or if the basic building block without DLR, fourth and fifth uh, uh, number of uh, amino acid of pentapeptide, DLN and DLN. Without DLN and DLN, the linkage is not possible because basically linkage, uh, is, linkage will happen between three and four, so fourth number DLN. So without DLN, bacterial cell wall is not possible. So the 
cycloserine antibiotics will inhibit the enzyme this one and this one and this is happening within the cytoplasm stage so this is the back, uh, antibiotic which is which will work in the cytoplasmic stage by the inhibiting some enzyme so now within the membrane stage in membrane stage now it is if you just recall the membrane so it will you will get two things one is on is bacteriopenol bacteriopenol so bacteriopenol what is the function of bacteriopenol bacteriopenol will carry the basic unit and it will form the lipid one and then it will form the lipid two and then lipid two will flip out with the bacteriopenol so without bacteriopenol how is it possible to attach here the so initially it is uh, one phosphate is there so without this how your uh, another phosphate and sugar that is glucosamine sorry inositol mevomic will be there and you know the inositol mevomic acid will carry the penta uh, peptide so is it possible without uh, bacteria prenal and bacteria prenal is uh, inhibited by an enzyme that is called vancomycin vanco myosin so vancomycin is just attached with the bacteria prenal and bacteria prenal function will be inhibited to form lipid 1 lipid 2 and uh, go to the outside of the uh, membrane so it's not possible because vancomycin will just attach with the bacteria membrane so this is the function of or mechanism of bacteria uh, vancomycin on bacteria membrane another thing you know just recall that is when bacteria membrane with the uh, lipid two that is your sugar and acetyl mevomic acid and acetyl glucosamine with bacteriprenone and phosphate biphosphate will be uh, flip out that was like that you know this is the bacteriprenone this was your biphosphate phosphate and phosphate and that was your sugar that is an acetyl mevomic acid and that was your n acetyl glucosamine and you know there penta peptide including pentaglycan okay so now another enzyme if you think that was your trans that was phosphatase phosphatase that's phosphatase actually the phosphatase enzyme will be inhibited by an enzyme that is that will inhibit the dephosphorylation and it will inhibit the embedding of the uh, bacteriopenol to the membrane bacteriopenol to the uh, membrane so who who will do that that is the that is your bacitracin bacitracin that bacitracin antibiotic will inhibit to recycle the bacteriopenol to the membrane so without bacteriopenol already i said it's not possible so bacitracin is basically working to inhibit the recycle and vancomycin or to inhibit the function of the bacteriopenol so this is the uh, uh, enzymes sorry antibiotics which are basically working uh, in associated membrane so membrane associated uh, uh, antibiotics are vancomycin and bacitracin okay and now we will discuss the third phase that is your 
peptidic glycan synthesis stress or cellulose synthesis stress cross linking. So this is the very much important, you know, that means in the third phase, those are the beta lactam antibiotics. This is very familiar, you know. So beta lactam antibiotics are basically, you know, penicillin, penicillin, you know, cephalosporin, you know, mono bactam, you know, carba enum. Those are the beta lactam antibiotics. Why it is called beta lactam antibiotics? All the antibiotics carrying beta lactam ring. Beta lactam like ring, you know, beta lactam ring. It will uh, just for that structural matter, these are the beta lactam antibiotics. So, all the beta lactam antibiotics will work on penicillin binding protein. That is transpeptidase enzyme. So, now I will show you how it will work. So here it will work if you just recall the sugar chain and that sugar will carry penta glycine for your understanding. So this is the DLN and DLN. And DLN and DLN in dimer structure is very identical with the beta lactam ring. Okay, beta lactam ring. Very identical. And then what will happen? You know, this is the important point of the transpeptidase enzyme to at attract here and to form a bond. Because here, DLN and DLN will maintain or just uh, you can say uh, manage the all criteria to form acylation, esterification uh, with the enzyme. Because here, the, if you think this is your enzyme PBP, that is transpeptidase and that will be said in, already I said during the uh, transpeptidase formation or cross-linking. So now, the basic thing is, so this enzyme will bind here to make a bond to just cleavage the fifth one and it will make energy and that will facilitate to make a cross-link between the exia, another uh, penta peptide. Okay, all did I say. So now, what will happen? The beta lactam antibiotics identical with that structure. Okay, so now what will happen? This beta lactam antibiotics will bind with their. Beta lactam antibiotic will bind with the transpeptidase enzyme. Transpeptidase, that is PB. Then what will happen? This enzyme will be blocked, will be inhibited, and no chance to bind with the 4 5 dimer, sorry, dipeptide of DRN. It's not possible because already booked, already blocked by the beta lactam antibiotics. Then is it possible to cleavage the uh, fifth DLN? It is possible to produce energy. It will possible to form a cross link between two uh, pentapeptides? Not possible. So without cross linking, your membrane of, sorry, your 
uh, your cell wall and paper the glycan will be more porous, will be more looser. Then what will happen? The paper to glycan or cell wall, the main function of cell wall is to maintain the osmolarity. Another function is the protection, but one of the major function is to maintain the osmolarity. So what will happen? When the cross linking will not be possible, then it will be very loosened and osmolarity will change and lots of water will enter into the cell and cell will be passed out. Okay, so this is the mechanism of action of beta lactam antibiotics. That is, you can say here it will bind penicillin, it will bind cephalosporin, it will bind beta lactam, and so on. So, you can say, unlike, as like the competition to bind here, who will come or bind here first? And, okay, it, it, competition is actually. Uh, between here to there and here to there. So when it will bind first there, so it has less, no chance to bind there. And without binding here, not possible to cross it. So this is the all, this is all about the mechanism or the antibiotics associated with the uh, cell wall synthesis. So in the initial stage, membrane stage, and outer membrane, that is the peptidic like or cell wall uh, stage, different types of antibiotics uh, working. So this is all about, thank you very much.